When Adobe first introduced Firefly, most people thought of it as a fun AI image tool. You'd throw in a prompt, get a picture, and maybe use it for a quick concept or mood board. But with this new update, Firefly feels less like a side experiment and more like a full creative studio. Adobe has basically turned Firefly into a serious content creation platform, and the changes are big enough that they're worth unpacking carefully. Let's start with the most obvious shift. Video. In the earlier versions of Firefly, video generation was, let's just say experimental. You could see the potential, but the clips often felt stiff or robotic, like the motion didn't quite line up with what you'd expect. Now, that's changed. Motion fidelity has taken a big leap forward. Characters walk more naturally, landscapes flow with detail, and even small things like weather effects or the way shadows move feel more believable. It's like going from watching a rough sketch to seeing a polished animation. That's when you realize Firefly isn't just dabbling anymore. It's competing in the space of real creative tools. Something that really stood out to me is composition reference. This is one of those features that feels small on paper, but makes a massive difference in practice. Imagine you've got a short video you love. The framing, the pacing, the way shots are set up. Now with Firefly, you can upload that clip, and the AI will mimic that style when generating new content. Suddenly, you're not just generating random video clips, you're generating footage that looks like it belongs to the same creative world. It's consistency, and that's something a lot of AI tools struggle with. Then we have the style presets. Adobe clearly knows that creativity doesn't always mean make it realistic. Sometimes you want something stylized, something that looks hand-drawn, or something with a surreal twist. Firefly Now has built-in presets for anime, claymation, line art, and a handful of other styles. With just a click, you can reimagine the same concept in completely different ways. That kind of flexibility doesn't just save time. It sparks ideas you might never have considered otherwise. And cropping? Let's be honest. Changing aspect ratios has always been a pain. If you've ever tried to take a horizontal video and make it vertical for TikTok or Reels, you know how clumsy the process can be. Firefly now has keyframe cropping, where you set your first and last frames, and the AI intelligently reshapes everything in between. No more awkward black bars or cropped out faces. It adapts the entire sequence so it looks like it was made for that format in the first place. But here's the feature that really surprised me. Sound. Firefly now lets you generate sound effects directly from text prompts. You can literally type raindrops on a window or footsteps on gravel. And Firefly creates the sound to sync with your video. Or if you'd rather, you can make your own rough noise, like tapping on a desk to show rhythm. And Firefly will transform it into a polished effect. That kind of integration is wild because it means you're not just generating visuals, you're generating entire experiences. And if you're worried Firefly might feel limiting, Adobe took care of that too. You can now choose third-party models right inside the interface. So if you prefer the way another engine handles realism or abstract styles, you can switch without ever leaving Firefly. Instead of forcing you to stay locked into one aesthetic, Adobe is letting you treat Firefly as a hub where multiple AI models come together. By the time I'd finished experimenting with all these new tools, I had a very different impression of Firefly than I did even a few months ago. Before, it felt like something you might use here and there, maybe to test ideas. Now, it feels like a platform that could realistically be part of your daily creative workflow. And the difference isn't just in one shiny new feature, it's in how all these tools connect. Video looks smoother, composition feels consistent, style exploration is easier, and even sound is baked right in. But Adobe didn't stop there. This update isn't just about giving you fancier tools, it's about changing how you actually work, whether you're solo or part of a team. And that's what I want to dig into here. Let's start with Firefly boards. Think of it as Adobe's answer to the messy brainstorming process we've all been through. Before, if you had an idea, you might scribble notes in one app, save images in another, and then hope you could stitch it all together later. Now, Firefly boards gives you a single space to collect everything. Images you've generated, short video clips, text prompts, sketches, and even feedback from collaborators. It's like a digital whiteboard that doesn't just hold your ideas. It actively helps you shape them into something usable. If you've ever struggled to organize a creative project, this feels like a breath of fresh air. What's even better is that boards are collaborative. You can invite team members in, leave comments, and build off of each other's ideas in real time. Imagine a small team working on a campaign. One person drops in reference images, another suggests style prompts, and someone else experiments with generated clips. 
instead of passing files back and forth and losing track of versions, it all happens in one shared workspace. Now let's talk about the mobile app. Adobe finally made Firefly portable, and that's a bigger deal than it might sound. Creativity doesn't always wait until you're sitting at your desk. Inspiration might hit you in a cafe, on a train, or even just walking outside. With the new iOS and Android app, you can capture that spark immediately. Type a quick prompt, generate a concept, or save an idea straight from your phone. Later, when you're back at your computer, it's already synced into your Firefly account. This kind of mobility makes the tool feel less like software you use occasionally, and more like a constant creative companion. And Firefly isn't locking you into Adobe-only models anymore. One of the biggest changes in this update is support for partner models. That means you can switch between different AI engines, like Google's Vio, Runway, or Topaz, directly inside Firefly. Each engine has its strengths. Some are better for hyper-realistic visuals, others shine with stylized art, and some focus on video performance. Instead of forcing you to choose one ecosystem, Adobe is basically saying, pick the model that fits your project best and we'll give you the tools to make it work. That flexibility makes Firefly feel less like a walled garden and more like a true creative hub. Of course, Adobe has also leveled up its own models. Firefly Image Model 4 and 4, Ultra brings sharper detail, more realistic textures, and finer control over perspective and style. If you've ever felt like AI-generated images looked almost, but not quite, professional, these new models close that gap. The results feel less like placeholders and more like something you could actually build a campaign or design project around. Another thing that's worth pointing out is multimodal generation. Firefly can now handle prompts that cross media types. For example, you can take an image and turn it into a short video, or you can feed an audio and get visuals to match. You can even generate audio from text or translate media into other languages. It's not just about creating things, it's about transforming them. That opens the door to some really interesting workflows like making localized versions of a campaign or quickly prototyping multiple formats of the same idea. And all of this ties back into Adobe's larger ecosystem. The new Firefly isn't meant to replace Photoshop, Premiere, or After Effects. Instead, it's meant to plug into them. The more I use these features, the more it became clear that this update isn't about flashy gimmicks. It's about making the creative process faster, smoother, and more accessible. Whether you're a solo creator who just wants to get ideas out of your head quickly, or a team that needs to collaborate across time zones, Firefly now feels like a tool that can handle it. So let's step back and think about the bigger picture. Imagine yourself a few months from now working on a project. Instead of juggling multiple apps and struggling to explain your vision, you walk in with a polished concept video, complete with style references, sound design, and cohesive framing, all built in Firefly. That's the power of this update. It's not about replacing creativity, it's about giving you a shortcut from imagination to reality. And that's what excites me most. Firefly has gone from being a fun experiment to a tool that could reshape the way creators actually work. Part 1 showed us the leap in video and sound. Part 2 is about collaboration, mobility, and integration. Put it all together, and you can see why this update isn't just another feature drop. It's Adobe's vision for the future of creative work, and it's happening right now.